hi this is java login system developed earlier i'm going to start by entering the, the incorrect value in the log and you see that's what will happen if you enter the incorrect details supposing i enter the right details in there the system will take us straight on to one of my old program that i copied earlier so if i log in oh let's try out the reset first there the reset works so let's enter the login details again there and login there and that's it it takes you straight onto one of my old program this very program is already on youtube so what we have now is i'll take you guys straight onto java development environment where we'll put one of these type of login system together and you guys you should you should be able to develop one of yours at the end of this program so let's go straight into java development environment now welcome to java tutorial in this session we'll be working on java login system so let's start a new project and select java application right there click on next and give that a name we just call that login underscore systems and check the main class click on finish okay the next thing is to create a framework there so let's right click go to new select jframe form and right there let's give it a name we just call that login and here we call this log logins with an s click on finish right there our interface is ready the next thing is let's just drag it along how about that and uh, maybe just let me allocate it my preferred size let's come down here that's the preferred size let's make this seven or six, 700 and this uh, approximately let's make that maybe 400 yeah that's fine okay now the next thing is let's go to the palette select panel and just drop the panel right there somewhere there and enter a label right here let's put a label up there this panel here a label here the label let's change the properties to login systems and let's increase the font size make that bold maybe enter 72 there okay we have our label here login system here now the next thing is let's change the properties of this login system of the panel let's come in here and change that to approximately let's give that 30 as the border style okay we have the border set to 30 and we also maybe enter another panel right there Okay, first thing first, let's run it and see how it will look like for our decide. Okay, now click on run. Now it's still compiling. Alright, running it for the first time. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's how it looks. So I can now enter my, my text box and use a name there. Okay, let's come down here and select label. We have one label here another label right here let's paste that right underneath here then we need the pass password field now we need text field and three buttons one two more buttons two and three so we have all our components in place so I'll select all of this and just come to the property right there change the fonts let me change the font to about let's make that bold 36 
and the border let's enhance the border as well make the border maybe four yeah that's cool repeat exactly the same thing for this we just need to change the font to 36 okay now the buttons three buttons we change the font to 36 as well okay right there now each of those buttons let's give them all a name let's give them a name so that button will be J B N B T N login and the text content on it will be login the next one the next one that will be reset and the, and the variable name jbtn reset followed by exit jbtn exit and value init exit now come to the next one here okay that will be username let's change that to jtxt username let's make the name uppercase and the value in there get rid of that repeat exactly the same thing for the next one I'll just call that j password take out the field and come to the property here get rid let's get rid of this the text in there you notice is all dotted out let's get rid of that that's fine so that is all there is to that design they all have a name okay so the next thing is let's give this labels names so this label we have let's call that username the next label will be called password there and let's just drag this out it's exactly the same thing for this maybe move them in okay now let's take care of the exit button first the exit button is system dot exit done the next one double click on reset reset will be j password dot set text we can make that no no value and the other one is the other one will be jtxt username there so the reset button is taken care of now we now need to take care of well just before that let's import some component right up there so to get the login system functioning as expected the following has to be imported so let's compile and run for now there if I enter whatever in there you notice this I only end up with stars I can always reset and I can exit but the login system does nothing for now so exit so that is fine okay before I can get my system working let's double click on that right underneath here I would like to define the system exit procedure that is it right there so that is just my own method to exit the system okay so before that can work you must make sure you have imported as follows which I've already done there it is okay the next thing I want to do now is to come back in here double click on that okay we then enter the following lines of codes right in here 
so as you can see I declare two string one is to store the value inside the J password and the next one is to store the value inside TST username now I've used an if statement if password contains one and username contains king you can change those to whatever you like anyway then we want it to clear the system and system exit right here you remember the the function that I created earlier on so if I run it let's run it and see what will happen and let's enter king right there and here we enter one and let's just have a go you see it works fine supposing we enter some random data in there okay nothing happens because I don't have a king there and I don't have number one here all right so that's fine so exit the next thing is before I can proceed I need to then import right here I need to import let me import this very login so import this very login but before then let me create another frame I need a second frame let's create one and let's just give it a name because when we log into the system that is the form that we have we want to log in into okay let's just call that login without login underscore s okay because we already have a name here called login so that I gave us an error so let's just click on finish we click on finish so the next thing is to then import this very login so let's just drag it and just maybe let's enter some random data in there so I have a label in there so let's double click on our main login system which is this one double click on this and then go right up here to import so we then enter as follows login dot log underscore s so this is the new form that I've just created which is right here this very one okay I'm using the main name here to call this very form so that is now imported and the next thing now is let's go back into the into our login yeah right there if I don't want you to get it mixed up right here right underneath here we now have a new method there so let's take care of that so officially what we were meant to do here was to call this very login where is it right here we we're meant to call this okay that is it there that should have been an underscore so let's call that underscore and here an underscore as well so you see information that that's the variable so we now set it as visible okay so one two so we will now use an else but before that let's give it a try run it enter the right data in there and click on login yep yeah, we have our form in place that's good supposing supposing we enter the wrong data what will happen the system nothing happens at all so that's what we need to take care of now okay to take care of that we now need to use else if enters as follows so else the system should display the following message so if I compile run supposing we enter the wrong value in there that is displayed when you click on this that means the system will be cleared and we can just enter the right data in there yep that's it it works as suspected 
okay that's fine so I think maybe we should just modify these enter some or maybe copy some of my old program let's put it on it and make it look good apart from that the program is all finished now so we we'll do that now let's go to design come right in here select this okay let me delete this label let's delete it and copy one of my old system in there maybe i should go for the online one yeah so right click and just copy and now let's go back into the login system right there double click on that very form and let's paste that in there there we go all right so hopefully that should work the next thing is there might be one or two errors so i know what the, that might be so let me come in here before any error shows up i'm going to have to import you see all of these variables i need to copy it those variables and uh, nothing was imported let's go back into my login now go to the source file as you can see those variables were not imported so i'm going to put them right underneath here so let's see was there any error because when you copy the program all of the data are copied as well but uh, what i've noticed is the variables will not be copied okay that is that let's save it and now compile and run the login system now let's run it there we go so enter the right details in the king and here that will be one click on login there we go guys now we have our full login system let me just take you back into the login system anyway but uh, there's one thing that I notice here because I don't have an exit button that's nothing really we can always just add an exit button onto this uh, online billing system so let's do that here before I call it the end of this program so maybe an exit button somewhere um, where is the button right here maybe just paste one underneath here get the font size let's just call that exit and font size that looks like maybe 24 30 okay maybe that's there yeah. okay that looks a little bit too too big let's change it font size maybe 24 okay let's just move this a little bit and paste this right beside it double click on the exit button and just enter system dot exit there so if we compile and run again let's run the program now enter the right details in there that is fine exit run it again and enter in there and come right in here maybe some errors in there there we have an error so let's enter the right details in there king and one there we have our online login details so guys that's how you develop your own login system so with that I'm gonna call it bye for now